So the next one is the opposite. So you have to always think yin and yang. The, the lower hand is actually gonna come up on top and do the exact same thing that the lead hand does, but just from a, it does take a slight bit longer. But let's say for example, if we're covering, right? Let's say this is my power hand. This is my left hand. Let's say it's my power hand. Then in that case, I want to free it. Lots of jikchun. I want this hand to be free that once I do this, it can do whatever. Does that make sense? So um, right now, as long as we bridge, I can't do anything towards him. He really can't do anything towards me, at least this arm, okay? So from that point, I want to clear it here. Now, last thing I'm going to say as a scenario part, and I want you to really understand this, no one is going to leave their hand out there and let you do that crap, not in the streets or nothing. So let's give a scenario, right? I've got, I got this cover here. He actually retracts this arm and punches with the other hand. See what I'm getting at? So here again, as I was coming up, his hand is retracted and I, I got him. I still got him and I just go from here. So for a lot of you to say that Wing Chun, Wing Chun shouldn't work the middle. It shouldn't be, you shouldn't try to play with the middle so much. But if a situation happens, know that you're supposed to keep going. Just have your options open, right? So. The first time we do, first couple of times we do this, we want to do it as a standard. The second time, I may actually switch the hands that way y'all can see. Now the switch. So pay attention to the switch, right? Good. One more time. 